It has been a little over a year since many Arizona art institutions started feeling major financial impacts from COVID-19. Team 12's Jen Wallace shows us how the Arizona state budget could help locations across the state that are struggling today. For the first time in its 91 year history, the Heard Museum in Phoenix closed its doors. The temporary shutdown, the pandemic's doing. We were closed for about a little over two months and then we reopened on June 9th. The Heard Museum, like many others in the Valley, has reopened, but director David Roche says they're still hurting financially. Admissions, ticket sales, uh, people buying in the gift shop, eating at the cafe, all of that has been down in some months as much as 75 percent. Steve Wilcox, a spokesperson for Arizona's Commission on the Arts, says the revenue loss is very serious for Arizona arts. He's hopeful a proposed $5 million in the state budget will pass for next year's arts budget. We're watching that very closely, and it is a, a reason for great optimism uh, as far as we're concerned. We haven't seen this kind of support for investment in the arts uh, at the legislative le uh, level in, in quite some time. If given the green light, Wilcox says how the dollars will be spent is up in the air. As it's currently been proposed, the $5 million would be coming from the state's general fund. Uh, that uh, would give us a lot more flexibility in terms of how that funding can be used. At the Heard Museum, Roche echoes the urgency for this budget allocation. Had to furlough almost half of the staff, and for the staff that remained behind, we had to cut salaries. They have been able to bring some staff back since October and are grateful for contributing revenues that keep them going. But with the overall hit to the museum estimated to be in the millions, more is needed. Jen Wall, 12 News. For now, we wait and we watch in both the State House and the Senate as legislators are considering bills that would allocate $5 million for next year's arts budget. The Arizona Commission on the Arts is also discussing with the governor's office the potential for additional federal relief.